Hi guys and welcome to Angling For You and today you join me on a Angling For You Members Day and we're at Forest Lane Fishery which is around York area, somewhere where I've, I've heard about in the past but never actually had the pleasure of visiting. Um, it's cold this morning, we, we, once we drove there, you know, around 4, minus 4, something like that, and a little bit of cat ice, unfortunately the sun's coming over now, which is great for the ice, but not for uh, for actually fishing, because it's blindingly across um, this side, but apparently it's, it's stocked with a lot of little small carp and um, F1s, so you know it, it, it's something, like I say, I've never been, it's, an, it's a rectangular lake, down the edges are all iced up. Um, the plan today is with everyone smashing ice to get start at 13 meters. I've got two. I've got uh, basically two a two prong approach. Um, I've got. I'm going to feed tapping pellets and fish uh, corn over it, or I've got the exactly same duplicated rig to fish pellet hard pellet number four, four mil over it. Now I've got that additional line in front of me, which we could do the same. I've also got some maggots as uh, a throwaway line. So, firstly, it is proper deep. I mean, the full length of the top kit. And a little bit more we're looking at around eight foot eight and a half foot um apparently there's been some all right weights and stuff like that but the guy owner says we've had four frosts in a row so like typical angler for you uh, members day calamity um we've we, that, that lands on our day as it always does um, so we don't have no idea what to expect today fingers crossed we'll we'll get into a few fish and we'll get some on camera it's got to be better than the three ounce we had on the winter league the other day so i'll go quickly through the rigs because we are coming up to the time so i've got eight eight to ten um, reactor core uh, pink on um, I've got these little matrix uh, little tapper pots which you can sort of extend um, to tap in the pellets uh, the float today is a diamond 4x18 Preston Innovation float um, and this is uh, quite a, a heavy uh, 0.5 gram because it's really deep and I want to put some shot on the line to, to get the, the bait down to the bottom so we've got a bulk of around 5 number 8's and then we've got a, some strung out number 9's around 6 strung, strung out number 9's um, and then on top of that we have got um, a little bulk right at the bottom um, of number 8's again just to get the bait down um, so with that to move this out of the way because it's just decided to lasso itself onto the uh, the old roller um, the hook I am using is an is an MX3 um, matrix hook I was just with a tiny little band and a size 18 um, the line is 014 um, uh, it is oh it's, it's matrix it's matrix power micron is what the line is uh, and with that I've got an O12 bottom. So that's my first rig. <coughs> so you're going to have to excuse me today. I've got coughs. Not COVID coughs, but just generalised coughs. So the other rig, and this is the rig I'm going to start on, is for my corn. And I've got a little um, mate, a little uh, Preston hook on this one. Um, exactly the same, 014 power micron, um, down to an 012, but this is a 16s hook for the corn. Um, it's only a small hook and exactly the same float, um, a 4x18s Preston diamond um, and a 0.5. Uh, exactly the same depth, exactly the same rig. I've got a bulk above the hook link and a bulk underneath the float and a few droppers throughout. Um, and that's as simple as it gets really. Same little tapping uh, pot that we're going to do um, and use the, like I said, the, the hook bait of choice to start off with this one is going to be that uh, single corn. Um, so I will put that on now even though we've got a couple of minutes left uh, until we actually start. But not for you guys because we're going to switch it off and switch it back on and uh, it'll be go time so like I said I, I have I really don't don't know to, what to expect today I've like I said I've never ever fished it I've, I've heard about it and I know it's got a good um, following and a lot of people that fish there um, the fish north uh, is done in the arena lake uh, we're on Vale today, so that's a rectangular, one of the rectangular match lakes. Um, so it just, it does look nice. Obviously there's not many features, but it, it's a typical match lake. Um, and fingers crossed, you know, we're going to get into some fish. So, with the power of editing, you will join me in a couple of seconds and we're ready for the all in. And fingers crossed, we'll get into some fish. Right guys, so we are getting ready. Just putting some of these, some of these pellets in into the top, a little top tapper pot 
which allows us to uh, to tap them out. Just going to swing. That looks just a long rig and get it ready. We drop in with this 260 foot line. I'll be honest, boys. Fishing super deep rigs is not my favourite thing. I don't really fish a lot of venues that do it, and I won't say it's my favourite thing to do, but it's good to to do different stuff. And uh, you know, get ready to rock and roll. All right. So we, we are lowering it in nice and slow and we are dotting the, the floaties dotted down. And we're just sort of, I won't say we're massively over depth but we've sort of got a couple of centimetres resting down there. Until what is the second fish? We just missed the first one on camera. Oh, that's not a little stocky cat. There's a little bit of ice in front of us. James has got an even more of a nightmare to, to the left of me. I've got no. I've got it through ice. Nice little, falling, but nice little stocky, stocky cap. Beautiful little stockies there. Hopefully we're going to start to get somewhat of uh, a little run of them. We're way behind on, on everybody else, I'll tell you that for now. Absolutely way behind. And what I've done now is move to a little jelly pellet, little Van der Nijn jelly pellet, um, six four mil, and uh, that's what I've got both of them on. Relatively quickish succession, so I'm hoping that there's some more to be had. Like I said, I've got no idea. Oh, look at this venue, it's a venue I've never fished. It's a case of finding and searching what works and obviously this time of year is not the best for that. So it's just a case of trialing some stuff out. If we can have some. into another one. Pulling back a little bit this one. Steering it away from the ice, which is ever moving closer. A little bit of artistic playing. This one's pulling back a little bit. Feels weird feeling it. We've only been catching silvers on the oak tree lately. It's been a while since I had something that pulled elastic out. That's a little bit, a little bit better stamp that. Just 
be about a pound that one. Fortunately, in some respects, the ice is uh, moving so James can fish, but unfortunately, it's now moving to exactly where my peg is when I've started to catch, which is absolutely superb. Pretty much just puts down my winter fishing all in one go, does that? What are you going to do? Nothing, is that? Answer to that. Hopefully it'll be in Tony's peg in about 10 minutes and we won't have to worry about it. But unfortunately we ain't going to be beating the two boys over there because they've been catching since we started. Local knowledge. Sh shouldn't be allowed on these locals, should they? No way, no. <laughs> right, it's only for a bit of fun, innit? So at the moment, right now we're in the middle of, middle of the ice, which is interesting. Right guys, I've not filmed majority of this match. Um, it's been cold, it's been difficult. Um, and we clearly haven't had the big fish down here, or the carp down our end. Um, we've watched people catch our way up the other side and fortunately they was away from the ice. Um, so what I've done is spend, I've had about five carp and I've spent most of my day going to talk to the members for the last sort of hour or so but we just started to catch a few of these little chub down the edge so I thought I'd just you know put the camera on and and finish it off you know with a with a few little fish fingers crossed uh, with a few more little chub for you to see them and you know you just gotta be it's one of those days this is what I, li I like about the members days it's about about members and it's not about any risk or any sort of struggles if you if you're not in the right area or fish aren't here that's winter fishing that's fishing in general and you can just sort of chat to people and you know it's a uh, it's a nice way to to interact with people around the group we've got, got one of the guys guys here who's come from cambridge believe it or not so that's like three hour drive and he's got three hour uh, uh, way back as well and, that's, and you know it's that's you know what it's all about i've just been catching these little these little chubbling um single single white maggot I just thought we'd we'd put uh, a couple of them in the net, hopefully, just while we we close off uh, the video. And as you can see, that's the long rig I've got that we've I've used earlier on, and I've just plumbed it to drop on the shelf, um, slightly shallow or a lot shallower water. And I'm just literally using it and just flicking it under arm um, and just throwing in a little bit of, bit of maggot and. You know, it's just a nice little way to finish the look like the, the last sort of 10 or less now uh, minutes of, of the match. So in, in one sense, I've enjoyed it, you know, it's it's been frustrating being down this end and watching every, everybody else catch up the, the higher end. It is frustrating when you see that. Um, but like you say, if the fish aren't here, the fish aren't here. And um, we had a lot of ice to contend with early doors as well. And it's just allowed me to get up and have a wander around and see some members which is is really nice and like i told you in the last video it's it's about showing uh, the good and the bad with your videos and and you know today 
again it's not been a, a super successful day in regards to fish quantity um, and that's fishing in it you just got to accept it and uh, you know go for the the little things and there's another oh there was another little fish there as well just pulled out of it I'm using a small look so gotta be lightning quick with these bites and what we've found is uh, just a little white single white maggot is is the way forward for this yeah you could say if I'd uh, stayed on this a couple of hours uh, we could have caught but you know to be honest I've I've enjoyed walking and chatting to the members and what were really good actually I was talking to one of the members that that um, have come from a long way away um, and he fished a lot of rivers but he's not actually caught um, a barbel before and he's just caught a barbel today I know it's not a river barbel and you know it's it nothing beats a river barbel but it's um, to, to still catch a barbel he's made his trip the worth a while and he had a nice chub actually about a pound and a half um, which was a, a lovely chub. Lovely these little chubbling. Right guys, so we're all weighed in and it has been brutal as I'd imagined. Four pound and nine ounces, which is definitely better than the uh, three ounces uh, we had uh, last time. But it doesn't make me feel that bad because we had a two pound, a six pound and an eight pound round me. So this area was pants. The winner only had 24 pound and it over completely over the other side of the pond and all the winning uh, weights and big weights came from that those four pegs. So, you know... <laughs> the way fishing goes so guys anyway thank you very much uh, for watching um if you could like share and subscribe that would be fantastic if you want to see anything else on the playlist and uh, then you know where to find them if you want to have a come on instagram angling underscore for you see some of us posts or on the facebook group uh, angling uh, for you on facebook um if you could like share and subscribe that'd be fantastic and until the next one guys tight lines <laughs>